Prostitutes by Billy McBride Copyright by William McBride ISBN Banging on the Pipes of the Universe Ariel Henry Cole The Banging of Mexico and Its People in America Other Languages Octavio Paz's Rape Lady of Mexico Lisbeth Willows Waving Penelope Nobody's Technically Dead Maybe people use that word to mean they pay less attention to them Valerie Virginia Woolf's The Waves Isaiah Berlin and How to Fly a Spacecraft Beneviva At Night Studying in the Dark The Shakespeare Yellow Pocket Book Staying Forever Here Here Eternally Tickbert Valentine's Day Shakespeare Day was close to President's Day Tob Shbeeb Retell the story over and over again Jennifer I knew that Elaine was Jewish during that Valentine's Day And that Shakespeare was good I spoke with her reading all's well that ends well The two noble kindsmen the gentleman of Verona, Beneviva. Then I realized how I would study Shakespeare, becoming Falstaff, and speak his lines to those men listening to the side of me in my apartment. This was close to a year before my head Vatresha Merkba experience, Beneviva. This was close to my first knowledge of hope in as a being I was channeling, Beneviva. Falstaff's recruiting scheme, and the Tempest, and Prospero, Beneviva. I read and said aloud Shakespeare songs, Beneviva. There was a bad feeling outdoors during the construction. Beneviva. They tore down the apartment sides. Beneviva. Leave out Numa in this story. Beneviva aha Penelope. The banging of the pipes of the universe and my childhood memories of Hawaii. Sitting on the floor on a calm and quiet day playing with toys. Beneviva. The banging of the pipes of the universe. My dad's salty bedroom lit by peaceful daylight. And his bathroom in on Thanksgiving Day as well as the eternal recurring of the birds and the fountains of youth. My eternal wife, I thought, after reading a book on her poems, was coming back to me. The library was special because it had that book on. I used to call often the library to have them order books for me. Beneviva. There was a dog that used to bark. Its bark sounded like lovemakings. Beneviva. But there was also a prostitute who lived a few floors up and cars would park at night and the men would visit her on schedule and I was channeling her. Beneviva. She spoke to me about her life and she was called Hope. Beneviva. She wanted not to be a prostitute. Beneviva. It was magic that I felt. That I was in my isolated apartment physically channeling this person upstairs. I had never known spirituality before. Beneviva. I had asked someone else to marry me. And I was rejected. Beneviva. Yet. Hope would hug me physically, through the walls and ceilings, while nobody else was in the room, just me. She said she could do that through my channeling, and it felt great. Beneviva. I loved her. Beneviva. I left a note on the man's car who drove her. It said how I would like to meet Hope in time. Beneviva. I did not know the man, but I left my address, on the note. Beneviva. He showed up. Beneviva. He wanted to know who wrote the note, but he said he didn't know her. Beneviva. His name was Thomas Awim Shah, but Hope and I would call him Rodney. Beneviva. I knew that he was crude by the way he approached and smiled and winked at me. Beneviva. We talked. He saw I was a musician who also had Roland equipment. Beneviva. We talked during the night and played music together and I knew he knew Hope because she told me during my channeling that it was he who was her pimp. Beneviva. There were lovemaking noises she made and I could hear them all the way in my room. Beneviva. Tony took me up to his apartment a few floors up where there was a bed in the middle of the living room. Beneviva. I saw a woman in a negligee. And I left. Beneviva. He told me later that she was his wife. But I knew better. Beneviva. The noises of lovemaking continued and there were three distinct prostitutes all whom I channeled. Hope. Jill. And Patacake. Beneviva. I wanted to help them get a better life. Beneviva. In my desperate channeling I married Jill. Hope and then pat a cake a little later. Beneviva. I thought that they were really prostitutes. But they are actually invisible angels and there was never a prostitution ring. Beneviva. Here are some notes I took while believing at that time I was trying to save the prostitutes who were only angels within me. Beneviva hello Jill how are you doing she says she's doing fine. How about me I am doing fine Jill also you are not she says no she says you are. Are my loving husband okay you are my loving wife. That is true she said thanks Billy yes thank you very much so what are you going to do with your day I don't. No I think that I will have something important to do at least. But I will be thinking of you much. 
I love you so much Jill and she says I love you also Billy very much then what shall we do with ourselves one of these days hopefully we will be together right yes she says then what is the hold up I wonder Billy I need you to understand this I know you have trouble because you cannot see me right away and it is hard for me too so just count on this idea when we meet we will be happier and now we are happy so think that we should feel glad too. Be the way that we are now an extra bonus will come in the future when we do finally meet because we need to it's okay Jill you don't have to finish that sentence no she says T to I okay I see what you were saying it was finished Billy what is the deal with the neighbor upstairs yes the neighbor upstairs well there are many neighbors upstairs so I don't exactly know which one you mean she says yes I think the one that I mean is the one making all the noise upstairs and I say that reminds me as I was playing the piano today. I was taking a clue as to what interpret I could any sort of sound as they might want me to play on the piano so that is what I did a little while ago which I had so much fun and was happy to play for not just me but for them at least that's how I felt Jill do I have to keep reminding that this should be proved that togetherness needs some sort of um attention each time we meet I think so she says I think it's very important to start off feeling. Jill yes to start off kind of like we start off knowing who you are talking to in the beginning okay Jill then let's make sure we accept this as real right now I do feel like it doesn't feel as real so what can we do to change that I don't know but I think she says that I would like to see where we can be led through by this idea okay Jill let's run with it I say first of all Two days ago we were married and hoped to to me so it was not nothing that happened that day I was perfectly sober and sane when I was doing it and I believe that you were willing and so when I felt like I was getting married it felt very real. As real as probably as any other experience I have so as it happens. I feel like it is something that can occur again. That feeling of realness because I do believe in reunions of emotions as well as with people yes she says I also feel that way then all we need to do is either renew our vows with me she says or maybe we can. What is it Jill? You had something to say there Billy about the idea of renewing the vows you know Jill you might have. Just do it she says dear Jill. I'm right here Billy you don't have to say dear she says. Jill will you marry? Me yes indeed she says. I will indeed marry you and Jill now that you will marry me will you please help me ask God for a blessing okay. She says dear Hashem Lord of Lords Master of Masters we praise you as much as possible and we ask for your blessing for us to be man and wife is this something that may occur yes it is he says so thank you God. Amen. My imagination praise God King of the Universe Lord of Lords Master forever and ever who has given me hope because he brought me together with two wonderful ladies named Hope and Jill. And as we came together loved each other and today this morning were married. Is it Hope or Jill J I'm doing very well thank you. J well I think that perhaps you're on my mind J well don't feel bad because sometimes other things are on my mind but in general you are J yes you are Jill J you are Jill. You are on my mind I'm trying to learn. I'm trying to learn to believe that. Well, I will see you one day J I believe I will J I know you think I will. But you know better than I do whether I will or not. J I hope I do learn to know you J yes I do know you this way. That's true J and I am your husband. Yes J that's true. I would not be your husband if I didn't know you J okay I'll leave it at that J Jill don't worry about that. There's a reason for this too J well so that I can have a reminder of how we talk to each other J well you say one thing and I say one thing and then we go back and forth J as husband and wife and as lovers do J well we become more and more intimate like just now J it is true J what do I want to do? I just want to know you and love you J that's true. I do know you and I do love you J no I'm not going to stop J no I will not hate you one day J you really think so J I know. You're just kidding a okay, cake off. J I don't know it's like leftover from talking so much. I think J of course who else would I be talking with J well. She I talked to for only an hour. But for the past few weeks I've been talking with you for hours and hours. You and Hope J yes J do I like the cough J I do like you very much. Both of you J quit talking to you J by using my voice to talk to you. J you're right. I don't think it like it if I would stop doing that J I just guess I have to cough every now and then J J I can drink plenty of liquids. J ok J what J for you too J because your voice hurts too J ok. I'll drink two gulps each time for both of us J O Jill. He he J well now that we're married we have lots to do. I guess J I think maybe so. Like different than before J how so J well now I guess we're now that we're in the eyes of our maker. Worthy to do anything. 
So let's first learn maybe how to praise him and ask him for things that we need when we aren't together that we also have problems with Jay yes we will today. Jay and we planned it that way Jay we planned it that way all along. Yes we did Jay what do I want to ask for Jay to God Jay I will ask it with you. Dear God Master of all creation Lord of Lords King of Kings. Allow me to ask a favor on behalf of both Jill and I the two of us are now together in your eyes with your blessing and we need a favor will you please allow us time to reflect when we have trouble and in that time can you bring us closer together in order so that we may communicate how we feel to each other in an easy way to understand also can you please let us both be safe from harm and free us of the burdens which may cause us despair in any way so that we may be happy together thank you know that we will love you and be with you always amen that was nice wasn't it Jill well now that we can talk with each other probably if God allows just about anywhere then I wonder what our possibilities are for doing that Jay hey Billy I want you to understand that you are a special guy and that you needed my love forever so that you can do good in the world. That's what I wanted you to say she says me too Jill J okay so so now J I can't hear J okay J well talk for about a little while not as much J okay dear Hashem Lord of Lords keep hope safe tonight and happy as much as possible and learn that we love you and that you be open to you as much as we can thank you amen hey Jill please understand me when I say that you two are as special to me as I am in your eyes to you J how are you doing Jill well I guess I am doing okay I cleaned my room. I have ended my appointment with happiness so understand that I am available to tell you and treat you with more attention now that some things are clear J I also realize that what we're encountering as experience is an amazing thing which only probably a few people understand therefore I seek your help in helping you to talk to you openly and confidentially with you sometimes even if it means it appears to others as strange J Y Jill am I so lucky I wonder. I think that you say I am a nice guy and you agree that I am Jay I want you so badly Jill and need your love and it means being nice to you that is very nice to do because you deserve it Jay what I am doing right now Jill is learning a little more about the limitations and the possibilities of our love Jay we are learning this Jay we both can do so much for each other and I look forward to spending my life with you and learning about how to be a loving husband Jay I Jill want to be your loving wife no matter what and I do love you always. Love Jill oh that's nice Jill Jill thank you for everything that you have done in the past few weeks that led up to today I appreciate it so much and for that I could have not have been so happy as I am right now even though it is mixed in with some sadness but we will work through that so that in the future that is coming we both can be together feeling more free and happier even with hope as well I love you so much Jill I need you too dear God master of the universe creator of all. Things great and small keep Jill and I happy as happy as possible so that we may learn about each other through the years to come since we love each other and are newlyweds and help us be able to express openly what we really mean to each other so that we really know what each other feel at the time also so that we know that it is true that somebody is there for us and let us become happier in time and as we do so let us help others to understand this and more that this is very special and so much is good thank you amen dear Jill. When I think of you I remember how we first met and how it began to be special from that very moment I love you so much that I have planned on being with you from that moment when I saw you from the first time and even though we can't be together. Now in person. It still matters to me that you are a big influence in my life and around me when I need you thank you for all you have done your loving husband. Billy M dear Billy. Thank you you for your patience and support for me and your acceptance of my lifestyle I understand that you believe that we will always learn from each other and I also agree with you about you about our progress in that area and let me assure you that I will love you from now on until I die as your wife and loving partner with love always. Jill thank you Jill dear Jill. I am so very glad as you and I can spend a special time together getting to know each other and feeling passionate about ourselves and each other that we have finally found somebody who cares as much as we do for each other and I love feeling this way even though it is not something that is ordinary and even so it is not something that can last for always unless we learn to overcome the difficulties when we can to be together and I believe we will overcome those difficulties be patient Jill and I will too. Keep loving me and I will keep loving you always and I want you so badly that it matters to me so much just to know that you are there when I think of you and if I can have that feeling in my life from now on. Knowing that you're there for me. I would be the happiest person in the world and because of that and because I know that you still love me even though you can't always see me I am truly grateful and I will learn how to recognize that love that special love that you have for me and realize that it is a reality and your promise as my partner thanks again with dutiful love.
Your longing husband and partner and friend Billy M. Thank you well JLL we could do this all night ha I might like doing it in bed we can do some things but I'm not sure that what you are thinking of is what I am thinking of right now what are you thinking of oh you are actually thinking of what I am thinking of okay so let's J what do I think about my brother Michael oh about Michael the angel well he is equal to Adam yes and he was the angel in my own work who brings forth a new style why do you ask you want to know about my writing well i am not sure it is as important anymore i guess i say that because now that i've met you i think that maybe i don't know i think that learning about you would be just as important or more so than writing in the style of michael i guess we both can work together with that so technically you can help me with that too Jay you want me to write in that style okay then I will but we're talking about it on the tape recorder so that we can document this. Okay let's try it. Go. Maybe. Like that. Sentence. Michael. Makes up. Laws. This. Is. A. Way of. Writing. Where. One is certain. By writing a. Listen. Listen. Here. These. Are laws. Which. Michael makes a. I. Love you so much that I do not need to worry as much because I also am looking forward to do and how to help you so understand that you are going through a process of something good okay I love to hear you understand when I speak. Go. Sentences go first. Going farther. By a way of these these here are laws in which I use. Where one is certain by writing as one sentences go by way of a I am saying I may obey laws and answers. I say hey. Michael make up a good sentence for me to put down. No. Lay down and okay here it goes. These here are laws in which I use. Where one is certain by writing as one is going further. As one sentences go by a way of answers I say. Hey Michael. Make up a good sentence for me to lay down. Ha J July. Dot okay what else can I do Jill J yes it was she says now when I think of what we just did it does give me some hope but I wonder is it authorized how do you know it's authorized J you don't you think so it's writing yes J A H H maybe read Othello is there writing there well um no I don't think there is writing look at the Zohar I am not sure that writing is mentioned there did I write we wrote Yes Jay wrote a message Jay wrote not just kind of a message but an act no Jay we wrote it um well I am not going to complain I think that it was kind of nice Jay and you want people to see this Jay she says yes I do very much what you have done with me and I say yes I will do it okay it will be done I will show my brother and my other brother no not my other brother somebody else that I haven't met yet well maybe I'll meet them soon perhaps so she says now what okay dear god thank you for letting us share that short experience which in Jill's eyes she believes it will be useful for somebody else later too read and I trust Jill's feelings and just that I am glad that she's happy too music plays I know now what Jill she says well now I think that I can go on with a little more ideas no not her we we can go along hey Billy she says listen that is somebody you love she says it is hope she's having the time of her life and not because of the person the guy she is with but because she realizes exactly what you and i are doing with our time and she believes that it is something so good that she is excited at the same time as we are in her arms is another person and jill asks me what i think and i say it is a surprise to know that i have been feeling better about how we all think together that we are three married I care about her so much too and though we can't all have it exactly in a perfect way, what we would like, it still feels good knowing that a little bit at a time is feeling special and as if we are improving it is true. She says dear god, now that we three are married, let us remember you who is so wonderful and that the three of us seek your guidance not just through each other helping each other but your guidance too in the tough times ahead and in our lives so that we may rest at ease in the future feeling. More close to you and each other amen and Jill says. Amen Billy great job and she says I like it when you laugh the tape recorder on this side. She says. I know. I know. What will we do next she says um I love you too I will I will remember the outside world so that we can become a reality of other than just this by making messages on a tape recorder and talking in other times as if we can one day. Find each other safely because it needs to happen not just as a possibility but through our experience in the outside world thank you Billy. She says I thank you Jill. I thank you so much for reminding me that. For reminding me that I know that I need to be reminded of much I know how to remember. I think. By remembering on behalf. What what is up with you Billy what is up with you with your position on these things how are you feeling Billy M what is going on with your place and your ideas about head? 
What is this thing that you are doing I like this place if it weren't for the echoing ask her a question for me this way how are you doing what is new with your place what is the idea that you have today okay it is this. I want to go to the gym now what are you doing what is going on with your life today what are you doing later on Billy M how are things with your place right now Billy M what are you thinking of right now. I like to think that you are thinking of much about last night is this right Billy yes it is hope yes it is what are we going to do about Jill what we are going to do I say is nothing we can't do anything it is beyond our control. I am here though I am Billy I like to tell you this to let you know why some of these things happened why they happened is for a good reason it happened so that we could get clear about something hi Billy this is pretty good. No I like to think that this is a good idea I'd like for you to get up in a little while what are you doing right now Billy M what are you doing Billy what are you doing what is with this place with the echoing. I don't know what are you going to do later before head what are you going to do Billy I like to hear what they are saying. I love to get information this way it was wrong last night that was good Billy how are things going what is with this place. I like to think about things inquired too. I want you to get a laptop next month it would be nice for the night I'm writing and being at ease with things and people Billy M what is up with Rodney today I think what you believe is right what are you thinking about the day. What do you think about writing this way. I like it especially Billy M it is nice you know that you can write with me for a long time and check things out in this manner. Right now what is it that you would like to do later you could go out to the library you could go to the music store. You could be alive and get gas and you could be happier with your music Billy M what are you thinking right now it is. Probably a new kind of experience definitely Billy what is new with Rodney how are you doing now I would like to get you a drink Billy M is there a water cup or anything like that I like to think about the idea of our life together and I like to help you get a new experience every other hour what's up with this idea to see the water cup. I think it's a good idea to understand what goes on with this way of writing my good friend and partner I need to understand something what do you think about bringing water in what do you think about another idea to do something special like go to the store by your mother's home what do you think about heb there maybe they have sushi there you would like to go there maybe hey billy keep writing about the ways of life which you can live I like to help you with something I would like. To give you a break right now I think that you should come back to our place and you need to finish your laundry soon please let this make more sense by doing it and seeing it okay Billy is that okay do it right now Billy M now. Dot hey how's is going what are you doing right now does it matter where we go if we have fun what is the nature of their business Billy. I like them when they are around I feel better protected and this is how things are working out you shall see something interesting in a while what is this idea that you have Billy about the business what do you want to do next what does it. Matter where you go I like to talk to these people about my experiences this is really weird what is the business here. I wonder about lots of things things are really strange sometimes this is what I am thinking what is going on here ask those around who know. Okay it is fun to learn some things when you can that was really something that I can work with just a few good sayings for us are nice not a problem can you go to the store pretty soon there is something I want to show you. I like to talk to you over there too hey Billy this is Jill. Ask Hope how things are going Hope how are things going they are going good she says. I was just wondering about things get no cookies now you can come over sometime this is really artful. I would like to talk to people about this and this is what is going on I don't know what what is it Jill I would like to say that this is weird first now you are safe trust me I am not so sure about somebody else that we know. Though what we will do is help them this is what we will do. I will go outside and you will too we will go outside and look around. Is it possible now to do this why don't you ask about the mail right now. I don't want to right now because what what I would rather do now is listen okay now we will help now this way we will type louder now we are going to be quiet this is a big deal so type louder and be inquisitive about things ask me what is up with the problem. I will tell you now the problem is that things are not very interesting without some fun times and what are those you ask yes I do Jill now ask about me this. This is interesting right what is Jill I like you very much. I would like to get to know you. I would too Billy even more we are never finished knowing you and we love you so much it is very powerful I like to go to people who mackle me feel excited about life and especially love what are you thinking right now I don't know nothing. Really. Nothing what are you going to do a little later with your time this is fun right no it could be more fun actually hey Billy what do you know about love I know not much other than what we talk about actually you know a lot more than you think. Billy McBride and I'm talking about intimacy and closeness hi there Billy hi there say things to me like that and laugh a whole lot a whole lot be resolute about your life Billy what is the deal with these people you want to know actually it. 
Would be nice what is it love be serious for a second and answer this question. I love you right yes you do very much. Then why are you acting as if you feel so bad what is it maybe it has something to do with forces against your control probably I say that was funny right of course you are writing so the readers can not understand all these things which are affecting you in the working environment but they also just must follow along. Okay don't worry what they think. You are just responding to several random questions of mine just like I ask so be happy about things because it is someday this is funny right? Dart this is so weird what is the news anything new keep this in mind what would I like to do now I would like to eat some food or drink some wine again she could be fun Billy and also you will learn some new stuff it is hard. Sometimes to keep all in memory Jill how are you doing? I am doing great. I love you so much Billy this is what we will do now. I like to go to Starbucks tomorrow is Starbucks open on Sundays I wonder that my stomach. Don't worry about that I think that this is a bad idea actually or maybe you just need to move around and get some water or something how are your clothes I wonder what is going on with everything Billy how are you doing right now this is fun sort of and will get better call someone right now what is this thing that we are doing oh uh, yeah we are editing now go back a dialogue between two lovers hope and Billy so you doing okay yes I'm good much thank you she says I'm doing just great thank you as well Yes Hope what am I going to do about the tape recording? Well it's hard writing you know. Yes you say it's very hard you say and copying from it. Well I'd like to keep on doing it and then maybe keep it for records of today. Not that I am going to do this all the time. But just for this time. Why is there something the matter with that? So there may be actually you say. What would that be? That and it sounds like I want to let others know about us. You say. Yes that is fine. But I want you to know that it also takes a kind of luck, a kind of rule, a kind of man, a life a kind of poem, way, a kind of way that is not a usual way, okay, well what do I do hope, well, she says, I think that I may help you learn what not to do when writing and when copying this recording so that when also you do end up showing another you can be certain knowing that they will accept you even though it deals with controversial issues, maybe that will work, it will she says. Hope says, but I know what you are thinking right now, that you need me in lots of ways but right now this is important for you to understand that what you are doing is something that maybe has been on your mind or has been on others minds as to how you can explain yourself when the time comes. So doing this does seem like a good idea to you and actually it does in many ways to me. I think that I may actually learn more about you within other ways but this for right now seems appropriate so go on with it and we'll see what happens and hope for the best. Thanks Hope. Thank you, she says. Well what do you know? She says she knows that she loves me. And that also she cares very much for me. And Jill too. And she is extremely satisfied in how things went with our marriage ceremony. It would have been nice to have documented it. But this well should work since it's also on the same day a little later though. Well it's kind of strange talking this way about marriage and also about documentation. And it is also strange that it actually happened. And I love you for going though with it. Yes I love you too. I look forward to being with you for many times until we die she says. Me too. I say. Now she wants to. She says. Understand more and more today about what she can do for me as a person who knows how to make progress in the world. How she can help me learn about it. So that I can be successful in life and eventually find a path to her. And so that we can be together forever. I really appreciate that and I look forward to accepting any ideas that you come up with so that we can do that hope. Thank you, she says. Well, she says, what about taking suggestions right now? I think that there are suggestions going on right now. And to sleep would be one of them. Really, she says, but I am not really that tired. But my eyes are closed. And I guess sleep could be put off a little while and then the suggestion would be granted. Or the suggestion might also say, thanks. Or something which really isn't a suggestion but still something that is said as a message for either both you and I. Or just me. Um. This is really hard. I think. For me to say. But I need you even more than right now. Which you can. And are. Giving me because even though I have changed by using a tape recording. I still need to feel very good and some love. And right now it would be a very good time to help me feel that love. Yes she says. I feel that you need much love right now. And, she says, as much as I can give you. But I promise later to meet your demands and more. So, be assured in that and remember who I am. And, remember that who I am is your loving wife. 
Thank you, Hope. Dear Hope. May our memories be blessings to us so that when we are not with each other sometimes we can look back and on them and be happy knowing how much we love each other. Billy. That's great Billy. That's great she says. Ha. Huh. Well I do mean it. I know you do. She says. Dear Billy. I am now your wife. So I want you to realize that whatever I do whoever I meet and whenever I can I will always think of you and keep you as safe as possible in my heart so that your memory does not diminish and that you may be helped when we meet again. Thank you Hope Hope. She says she likes my laugh. So this is a little bit more formatted Hope. Yes it is she says. Is it very awful? Well, it is kind of awkward. She says. I'm sorry Hope. But I think that that this will be good for both of us. She says I know. It will. And Jill. Too. You know. Yes and her too. She says. I love you she says. I love you very much too. Hope. When will we be together? I don't know she says. Sometime. I know she says. I hope you're right. I kind of think so too. She says. Well keep up your bright suggestions. Haha. <laughs> I love you. Me too. Okay. She says. I love you so much hope and it matters to me that we relax after this tape recorded session which is a little bit difficult. And I will look forward to spending more time with you in the near future. Of course today because there is so much on my mind that we still need to discuss. She says she knows. One thing that I would like to bring up now is that I have diminished a little today, and, still feel some optimism of a soon to be better off at least for today, and then again for tomorrow, and the next day, she says she knows, Billy, she knows, she says she too feels that way, I'm sorry you feel bad hope, she says she's sorry I do, well what can we do about it, she says, may we try something with Shakespeare, that sounds good, she says, but it still may be quite painful. Okay, well if we both feel kind of the same way I'll just say that the six pairs of feelings that I'm going to say reflect both of our emotions. Okay, she says. And, I don't want you to think that I'm trying. She knows, she says. She knows, trying to be any other way than myself. That I don't have much going on other than a feeling right now. Happens because it's natural. And if there was a way for me to sustain it, we will work on it. But she understands right now that I can't and that she might be feeling just as bad and helpless. Okay. So you feel helpless right? Yes. So do I. Well. Then I say the first one could be helpless and energetic. So who in Shakespeare is helpless and energetic she says that she doesn't know. Um. But we'll find out maybe soon. Hopeless and energetic. Billy. She says. I think it's in Julius Caesar. Okay. Maybe it's when Julius Caesar is surrounded by his council and they stab him to death. Yes. I think that's it. She says. Okay. So we're now in the play Julius Caesar. And, the way we feel is similar to the way Julius Caesar just before and during his death. That does make some sense actually because we feel a loss right. And, we feel also that we've had a kind of high under control over things like Julius did. And, betrayal. Does that work? Yes, it does, she says. Maybe by the people? Okay some people, I understand. That makes perfect sense. So now we will do hope with another one. Okay, we feel a little bit encouraged and also a sense of distance. Okay, so, who feels a little bit encouraged and also a sense of distance in Shakespeare? Bottom? Yeah, bottom from a midsummer night's dream. So we both feel like we've kind of like been left on our own? And, but still encouraged because he still sings that silly song right before Titania finds him. Okay, that's pretty good. Number 3. We feel a sense of funniness a sense of humor and also the idea of isolation. Okay, she says. So humor and isolation. That has to be somebody right? She says it's somebody from Juliet and Romeo. Well who's humorous and also isolated the nurse? Number. The friar. She says the friar. Well, I don't really remember him being humorous. She says he is though. Think about it, right? Yes. Okay the friar is isolated. But is he humorous? When is he humorous? When he's talking about the plants. When he's making arrangements. I don't know. Maybe. Well, I don't have it right by me. Should I check it? She says. Yes, I should. So I am going to go get it from my desk here. Here it is. Okay. The friar and Romeo and Juliet. And whom we feel close to. Um. In Act 5. Number. Yes. She says. What is it humorous and isolated? He was isolated because he feels bad about Romeo. And he's humorous. 
Not there right. The first one. Yes. The first one she says. In Act 5. Friar John. Friar Lawrence. I'll read from it. No. Don't read from it. Okay. Is this it? So. So if he's humorous. Why would that be humorous if he finds out that Romeo is coming back? I can't figure out this answer. Oh. Uh, earlier. He's not in here earlier. Yes. He is. In Act 4. Yes. She says maybe here. Okay. Oh. Uh, because he tricks the Capulets into making them believe that Juliet's dead. That's not really funny though is it? He. I guess it is because he feels a sense of accomplishment that his plan will work and he's feeling a kind of glee because of it because he hates the war. Yes. She says. That sounds good. So. He's acting. And because he's acting in front of the Capulets. It's really humorous because they feel that she's dead. So that's how we feel. That we've tricked somebody. But he's not really isolated. Is he? Well. I guess he would be if he has a secret. Okay. So. We feel like maybe we have a secret. Ha ha. Yeah. We do. And that people are upset. Maybe. She says I don't think so. Ha ha. But it's still a secret. Yes. It is she says. Okay. So that's number three. In four how do we feel? A little embarrassed. She says. And sad. Well. I'm going to make it sad. Okay. A little embarrassed and sad in Shakespeare would be in Twelfth Night again or Sinnoh. She says. No. Not a little embarrassed cause he's not. But maybe when Viola is almost found out. And also he also feels sad about her brother. That the guy is trying to pick a fight with her. Sir Andrew. Okay so. We feel like Sir Andrew is picking a fight with us. Yeah. Kind of I see that because we're in disguise. And he doesn't realize it. Is that the case? Well. A little embarrassed isn't really a disguise. Is it? But being. Having to guard ourselves is right. Okay. That we have to defend ourselves makes us a little embarrassed and sad. Right. Because it's kind of hard for us both because we can't see each other. And feel the need to. Um. Have a reunion which we are uncertain of completely. Okay. So much for number 4. Number 5. Now we're happy and we feel a sense of injustice. So who's happy and feels a sense of injustice in Shakespeare? Romeo and Juliet again? Yeah. Yes. Happy that both Juliet and Romeo because they are together. But injustice because their families won't let them come together. Okay. So much for that one. And. Finally we feel that. Well. Why do we feel like that? Oh. Uh, yes I see. Because it's really strange. Right. Okay. Now we feel a sense of like it's not like it's a sense of impossibility and a sense of ordinariness. So. In Shakespeare a sense of impossibility and ordinariness translate into. She says from the tempest. Okay. Haha. <laughs> oh. The wreck of the ship wasn't really a wreck at all. Was that it? No. So. What is impossible to happen? Oh. About the feast? So it's a feeling of impossibility and ordinariness. Yeah. Because we don't get the feast after all. And it is impossible that we get the feast. Right. So. She says that it will work. So we're Caliban and Stefano and Trinutlo or the other plotters. Right. Yes. Because we're plotting against Prospero. It seems just in our eyes. Is Prospero that force which keeps us apart? AAA. Anyways. Sigh. It seems like a good six to me. I know. To me too. She says. Billy. What is it Hope? I love you. I love you too. I say. I'd kiss you if I could. She says. I would too. Hope. Maybe you can eat one over there on your bed. She says okay I eat it. Eat two. She says. One for me and one for you. Is that right? Yes that's right. Good. MMM. Now. What will we do with ourselves? I don't know. But I think that there is something we can do that is fun soon. Is fun soon. Yes indeed. Yes indeed. She says. She sees it. Yes. Indeed. 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 She really likes the kisses right? She says she does. I love you too. I love you very much. Billy. I love you too. Hope. Now. What is it that we can do? Do you see it? What? Think about what you are looking at. Put it on. My Yankees cap. She says. Put it on. Now in the mirror. And I say. Who's that man with the Yankees cap on? It is Hope's husband. Do 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 da da. And she says. That's funny Billy. He. I can say. Yes. It's right Hope. Your partner in marriage. Yes. And Jill as well. She says. I like that. Now take off the cap she says. Drink some water she says. Two sips right. She says. 
Just drink it. You are so funny. Ho. Billy. She says. I need to tell you something so important that I've been waiting all day to tell you I really miss you and I think that there may be a way soon enough because it looks as if time is running out for us to be separated from each other anymore. I want you to understand I am making progress even though it may not seem as if anything has really changed. And I want you to believe it so badly that if I don't convince myself that if you do believe it, that I am trying, and that progress is being made, then I will feel a sense of dissatisfaction with my whole life. I need you very badly to believe that progress is happening, that we will see each other in time, and that we will know each other as best we can forever. I understand. Hope. I say. Yes, I do because I know that something different has been happening in the last few days that makes me believe that sometimes the ways things are may not be the way they are as appearances but more as, um, than appearances. Thank you she says. I want to really believe it so that you believe that I am making progress. Okay, hope. What I will do to make you believe is to do something which I don't usually do to assure you in another way other than speaking that I trust that progress is being made and that the change will come soon enough. Full stop. Dear God, Lord of Lords, Master forever and ever, I believe that something is going on that is truly good, especially after I was accepted by you and by Hope and by Jill to be married. And so, I need very much for you to assure Hope and tell her in time. And, now that I believe that progress in time has been made, and instead of me telling her, I ask you to assure her in some way that I'm okay, and I believe that things are going in another direction, from the bad to the good. And also that she has tried the best she can in not repeating the mistakes of her past which aren't always her fault. But the situation that she has been thrown into. Please give her a sense of security in my views and help me also assure her in my words that what is happening is something that is changing for the better. Also keep us safe from danger and let us learn more about what we can do to bring that end to a peaceful conclusion so that we may be happy together. Amen. Thanks Billy. She says. She needed that. Now, if there's something else I can do, I'll try. No, that's it she says. Talk to me. Talk to me as much as you like because I need you to. I do, she says. I want you to understand that sometimes you feel like it's not real what's happening to you but it does matter to me that you believe how I know you and love you no matter what your feelings are at the time. Whether you feel insecure about me. At the time, I will still believe in you and keep you in my mind as my true husband and keep you in my heart as my true love and so we will never forget what has happened to us. Thanks Hope. I needed to hear that too. Thank you she says. And I love you so much that I just needed to say that and to let you know that it is something that is constantly happening to me. Thinking of you. How could I forget you? Hope. It's impossible. When I'm around any place else, there is you. Like with me. And... Though sometimes I feel a sense of confusion and frustration that makes me hate the world I live in at that moment because it distracts me from you. I know that all I have to do is close my eyes and sense you. And that if you're not busy I can talk to you. And even if you're busy I know that there may be another way to understand how you feel towards me. And how we will be living. How we will be living well with each other in a time to come that I look forward to with great joy in my being. Dear Hope. Please keep. Hold on. I am talking to you as best as I can write. What do I put as your response? I love you. Hey hey I can write now. Perfect. Okay your turn. Hey hope I want to learn more about this uh. I love you. Write that. Now write I think that we are doing great. I love you always. Oh about Shakespeare. How? By numbers I love you too hope and company so much indeed. I like to talk to you this way me too hope any way really is good for me no reading I see this keypad as a tool for us where in bard is this. By means of other characters in literature do it please you say hello hello. And therefore bye bye the keys are byes they are puns a k by is b is i equals so equals e e b b to be a k characters like him are Iliad Achilles in his childlike state. Dark Tora Abram and Sere living out their lives the only cases of being in these stories two more my hopey Plato fun. Conversations and Whitman not touching another. Being touched keypad equals touch equals conversations equals life of lovers equals childlikeness Achilles childlike and tragic in bard is Cleopatra in bard again laughing and serving equals mistress quickly. In bard in voice and image equals ghost of Hamlet's father like a tasting right. UHHH UHH a K Plato in bard as stoic and erotic equals Anthony. 
Therefore and hopefully a ghosty quick lick we are them or this reading is sorted that way. No. Go for ITBE in poetry is something like let it be the origin. And this means that from B to let to its metaphor being lambs in Wordsworth so B is a lamb or young either one its lambs. Finnis.